Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. Today, I'm Big Cook Lion, and I'm prowling through the jungle. Hey, why don't you join in with me? Come on, let's prowl. All you do is get down like this and put one paw in front of the other and creep through the jungle. Are you ready for a roar? One, two, three. Roar! <laughs> Look at all this mess! What was that roar? Big Cook Lion! Big Cook Lion? Yes! We're pretending to be lions! Lions? Yes! Did you like my roar? Roar! <laughs> oh no, not again! Look at all this mess! Don't worry, Small. I'll help you tidy it up later. Come on, be an animal with me. OK, then. Right. Oh, I know! Can you guess what I am? Can you? We're being snakes. You be snakes too. Oh, and small. Here comes a. <laughs> Can you guess what I am? <laughs> an elephant. Yes, an elephant. And I've got a very, very long trunk. And when I walk, it sways from side to side. Whoo! Oh, it's tiring being animals, isn't it? <sighs> Phew, you're right. I wish we could see some real animals, Ben. Oh, me too. <coughs> Come on, Small, we've got a customer. It's cooking time. I'm on my way! Woohoo! <laughs> Who's our customer today, Small? <gasps> You'll never guess who it is! Let me give you some clues. Hey, why don't you try and guess too? It's a wild animal. Oh, is it? With a big, strong jaw and lots of teeth. Snap, snap, snap. Oh, uh -huh, I know! Do you? It's a crocodile! <laughs> yes! It's Colin the Crocodile in our cafe! Isn't that exciting? It certainly is, little cook. But what would a crocodile like to eat? Hmm, I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. There was once a crocodile called Colin, who loved to float along in the river, lazing in the sunshine. He'd lie so still in the water that he looked like a floating log. Nearby lived a family of cheeky monkeys, who loved to eat the sweet, juicy fruit from a huge tree that grew at the side of the river. But there was a problem. The tree was on the other side of the river, so how could they get across? Can you see? Those cheeky monkeys used Colin as a bridge. They leapt from the riverbank onto Colin's back and then to the other side. I was passing by one day when Colin the crocodile asked me for help. He was very unhappy. He didn't want to stop the monkeys from eating the sweet juicy fruit, but he did want to stop them from using him as a living bridge. I had an idea. I noticed that one of the trees had a big branch that swung out right over the river. I had a chat with the monkeys and suggested that they tie a long jungle vine to the branch. That way, they could swing across the river. The monkeys loved that idea. What fun! And so the monkeys swung from one side of the river to the other, without ever having to step on poor old Colin's back. Colin the crocodile was thrilled! He could still spend his days lazing in the river, enjoying the sunshine as the monkeys happily swung overhead. 
everyone was happy. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Ooh, 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 ah, ah, ooh, 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 ooh. I like that story, Small. And look at me, I'm a monkey. Ooh, 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 ah, ah, ah. Swinging through the trees. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Hey, why don't you join in with me? Hey! Come on, Ben. There's no time for ooh, ah, 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 monkeying around. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a crocodile to feed. You're right there, Small. We'd better snap. To it. Oh! <laughs> well, I know crocodiles like lazing in water and they've got big snappy jaws. But what to cook for a crocodile? Hmm. Oh! We can... <sighs> mm. I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the big cookery book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's book. Well, well, look at this. Oh, yes, apple swamp. Do you think a hungry crocodile would like to eat this small? That sounds perfect, Ben. Great, then. You read out the ingredients, little cook, and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need cream. OK, over to the fridge we go. In here, cream. We're going to use squirty cream. Sugar. Got the sugar small. Chocolate. Oh, yummy. In the cupboard, chocolate, my favourite. Bananas. Yes, bananas. Mint. I can get some mint from my herb garden, yes. And apples. Ooh. Oh, we don't seem to have any apples small. But we've got everything else we need for the recipe. Well, don't worry, Ben. While you go and pick some mint leaves from the garden, I'll whiz off and get some apples. We can't keep a hungry crocodile waiting, can we? Hey, why don't you come too? Whoa! Go, Small, go, Small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Oh, I'm in the right place here. This is an orchard where apples grow. Apples are a fruit which grow on trees. And this family have come to the orchard to pick some apples. There's one. Oh, you can do it. Yes! How many do you think she's picked? One, two, three, four apples. Apples are good for you and your teeth. Oh, look. There's some more people picking apples. Sometimes the trees are very tall and the apples at the top can't be reached, so this man is climbing a ladder to get to them. That's better. He can reach them now. The apples are collected in wooden bins. You have to be very careful so that the apples don't get bruised. In the middle of the apple is the apple core. That's where the seeds live. Mmm, apples are very, very juicy. Yummy! Yummy? I love apples. See you later. <laughs> There. Lovely, freshly picked mint leaves. Hey! And freshly picked apples! Hello, Small. Did you have a good trip? Oh, yes. I saw all the apples growing on the trees, and then they were picked. I even saw what an apple looks like when it's cut in half. 
And they gave me three apples for our apple swamp recipe. Woo! Hey! We're all ready, so take a look and we will show you how to cook. <laughs> Jelly boats and pirates, gold princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean, clean and ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Apple Swamp? You do. There was cream, squirty cream, sugar, one teaspoon, chocolate, a few squares, grated, bananas, one, mint, some leaves, apples, three, and food colouring, if you like. Green food colouring, a few drops. Whoopee! Let's get started! The first thing to do is peel and core the apples. Now make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you. I'm just going to core it. The core is the middle part of the apple. And now to peel it. I bet our crocodile's getting a bit hungry by now. In they go. I've chopped up the apples. Now, over to the cooker. There we are. I've put a little bit of water into a pan. I'm going to turn on the heat and then I'm going to add the apples. In they go. And the sugar. And give them a good stir. Round and round. You need to cook the apple until it's soft and fluffy. Right, oh, small. And remember, only grown-up help us through this bit because it's hot, hot, hot. How are you doing, Ben? The apples are cooked, so turn off the heat and I'm going to pour them into a bowl to cool. In they go. Then let's chop up the banana. Right you are, Small. Here we go. Wait! You're supposed to peel it first. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Take off the banana's jacket. There we go. What are you doing? <laughs> I love bananas, Small. We need that for the recipe. Oh, <laughs> OK. There we go. I'll wash the mint leaves. <laughs> These bits of banana are going to make the stepping stones in the apple swamp. The monkeys in the story thought calling the crocodiles back was stepping stones. Ah! Oh, oh. Oh. Small, why are you so wet? <laughs> the tap water splashed me when I was washing the mint leaves, Ben. Oh. Are the apples cool yet? <laughs> Poor little cook. You go and dry yourself off, and I'll mash the apples. <laughs> oh, 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 mash, 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 mash. And now I'm going to pop in a little bit of food colouring. There we go. And give it a good stir. Round and round. Now it's looking more like a swamp. Put it onto a plate, Ben. OK, Small. Onto the plate it goes. Let's get our swamp on there and get it all the way round. <laughs> and we can add our banana stepping stones. One, two, three, and one more, four. And now for the best bit. 
the squirty cream to make it even tastier. Oh, one Ooh. there. One there. Oh, small, I can't wait. One there. And, oh, a big one there. <laughs> Time for the grated chocolate. It tastes yummy and it looks like there's twigs in the swamp. Oh, yes, the chocolate. My favourite. <laughs> Sprinkle it on. All over. A little bit more, I think. There we go. And now we can take our beautifully washed mint leaves and pop them around the edge. One there. Another one there. One there. And a few more. There. There. And there. Brilliant! I think our crocodile customer is going to love it. Don't you? Let's see, shall we? One apple swamp. Coming through. There we are. Whew. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben, and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. <laughs> Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile. We'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. There. Perfect. Hey, shall we play our wild animal game again, Small? That's a brilliant idea, Ben. Hey, why don't you join in too? I've got a very, very, very long neck. <laughs> Can you guess what I am? I'm one too. We're giraffes! <laughs> <laughs> Aha! Here comes the plate. Oh, yes. And I think we can say our crocodile enjoyed his apple swamp. Look, Small. He's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for my delicious apple swamp. It was the perfect treat for a hungry crocodile. I just knew it would be. Here are two tickets for the wildlife park, where you can come and visit me and my wild animal friends. See you there. Brilliant. Now we can see all those wild animals for real. Like the lions. Hey. <laughs> and the snakes. And the elephants. <laughs> and the crocodiles. Snap. 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 <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. Big cook, little cook. Welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook. We'll cook for everyone. We'll cook for everyone.